Could homework be at an end? The qualifications regulator, Ofqual, is seeking additional guidance from exam boards over fears that students are using artificial intelligence complete, to complete their assessed coursework. This is a change in reality that's happening really quickly. I mean, the future has now arrived. And this comes as the head teacher of a leading independent school has confirmed that there is, quote, no point, end of quote, in setting home-based coursework anymore, and that exam boards have got to step in after its English department, get this, recently tested the bot and their teachers gave an A star to an essay that it spewed out. Is this the inevitable future? And is it something to defeat or to embrace? Joining us now, former head teacher and AI expert Dan Fitzpatrick, who argues we need to work with AI, and Daisy Christodoulou, who helps teachers use AI to mark exams. Very good morning to you morning, both. Hi. Morning. Dan, the head teacher at this school uh, has basically said the education chiefs need to look at assessment. Because if a huge part of, for instance, your English exam result is down to an assessment that you could put <coughs> through chat GPT and it would get you an automatic A star, why would any student not bother putting it through chat GPT? I think so. Uh, just to clarify, I wasn't a head teacher. Uh, okay. I, was, I, was on, I was on an SL. Well, let's mark but... our own homework <laughs> and get that wrong. Right, OK. That's what the bot told us. Uh... <laughs> um, Go on. I think I think you, you're absolutely right, and, but this isn't this is not a modern problem. I remember I remember, and I'm about to admit something which I've, I don't think I've ever admitted. Careful, here. careful. But when I was uh, when I was 15, doing the coursework for my biology GCSE, I think it was. I remember downloading <coughs> an example. A uh, bit of coursework yeah. and, mm -hmm. and pretty much passing it off as my own. Yeah. Now, so this is not new. When we see students cheating all of the time and, and using <coughs> different tools, mm -hmm. this technology, however, is is vastly superior and it has the ability to 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 imitate students. Like for example, I was on Twitter last night mm -hmm. and the, some company have come up with a with a plagiarism software that supposedly checks it. And yes. right, mm -hmm. here it is. <coughs> check it. Um, I went on, tried it. Put, put something in ChatGPT, got it to imitate a student's bit of work, and it couldn't identify. It couldn't identify. It didn't work. No. You see, the Department of Education is, is, is telling us that actually teachers who know their pupils and know their personalities, they can tell the difference between an essay or a piece of coursework that a pupil has written themselves and one that they've downloaded. But actually, that's just not true. I was speaking to the mother of teenage boys yesterday about this story, who told me that routinely her sons now download these answers, submit them to class, and they get A-stars. Simple as that. They can't tell the difference. Absolutely. So, the, so they're not learning anything. Well, the solution is we need to embrace it and think of new ways that we can bring this technology into the classroom. Because mm. let's be honest as well, when they leave school and they go into the workplace, they, this is going to be incorporated into a lot of the tools that they're using. Because they won't know anything. They'll have, they'll have these wonderful examination results, but they won't have learned anything because they've simply have accessed well, the think, information Richard, off Richard, I think online. the question there is, do we need to change how we do exams? Well, that's the question. Well, that is the question. And, Daisy, you mm. have a view on that. I mean, I, I think that one example given, Dan, and I think you might have referenced this, if you have to get between A and B and you have the choice of <laughs> walking or driving, once a car's developed, you're going to get in the car and drive and get there quicker. It's exactly the same with this technology, isn't it? You know, if a student has access to a way of doing their homework and it isn't considered cheating because a teacher can't notice that you're cheating, they're going to use it, aren't they? I think students already are using it. I think we've yeah. seen that already, and that's why head teachers and teachers, I think, are rightly concerned about this. So I think my take on it would be I think it is a phenomenal technology. I work for an online assessment organisation we think we can use it to help teachers mark essays. And so we've already integrated it into our website. How do you use and it, it to help work. teachers mark essays? We can, the, we can have the AI doing some judging and we can have human teachers doing some judging, doing some assessment too. And we can look and we can see if the AI and the human judges, if their judgments are matching up. But now, it's very early student, stages at the it, moment. But can yeah. teachers yeah. or AI yeah. work out if a student yeah doing assessed coursework for a GCSE or an A-level yeah. has put it through. A so that is a, a really good point, and that is where I would say my instinct at the minute is I don't think the plagiarism detectors are going to be robust enough to detect that. No. So when no. it comes to how it's used in exams, I would very much say I think we need to be banning it um, for things like exams. And I think, how, I honestly think coursework is dead. You think coursework I, I, yes, is dead? I honestly think coursework is dead. Yep. I think, to, 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 be, to be honest, you, you look at the, the reality of the English GCSE system, the current regulated exams that Ofqual regulate, most of those actually don't have 
uh, coursework. The one that does is an unregulated GCSE that's done by a lot of independent so schools. So what do you replace with uh, coursework? The IGCSE. Yeah. The IGCSE is 40% English language. Now, the friends and colleagues I have who are working in, in, in schools that use that IGCSE, they are incredibly worried because they're saying you, you can't detect it for the best will in the world, like you know your students. No. I don't think people have quite cottoned on yet how good chat GPT is. I know, and it only okay? came in in November. Look, that's It's incredible. You're it's, saying it, yes. assessed coursework is dead. That it's is my. History. That would be. That would be my. That so would what be do my you take replace it. What do you replace it with? Well, you, exams. So you have to have. I think the work that, that, that students do in assessments will have to be in supervised conditions. Right. So if it's done on a computer, it will have to be on a computer that has some kind of element. It's been locked down or it's still That's supervised. That's or you have what you have at the minute, which is to be fair, the current English GCSEs, most of them. They handwritten and they are done in supervised conditions. We didn't have coursework when I was at school. You know, when I was doing GCSEs and A levels, we just had exams. Right. I think just. Picking up on what Daisy said there, I think Daisy says coursework's dead. I think to a certain degree, we have to move on from, from exams. So instead of doubling down on exams <coughs> as the solution, we actually have to think, how do we incorporate this chat GPT or the, the AI that's going to come? Yeah. McKinsey and company said that in the next 10 years, we're going to see more technological progress than we have in the last 100 years. Yes. So yes. we're going to have these wow moments yes. on a regular basis. So what do we now. do? How do we incorporate it? I think, well, it it's for assessment. I think there's two sides of this. There's assessing how students can use it, because once they leave school, in fact, not even once they leave, in their homes, they're going to be using it. Yeah. Just think what this is going to do when it's incorporated into your voice assistant at home, things like that. They're going to be using it on a regular basis. So it's how do, how do we assess how they're using it? Almost like a companion in, in a, an mm -hmm. assessment situation. But in the meantime, it's not just coursework that people are using it for, it's online exams. And for universities, for instance, are still running online exams. Just put your exam through ChatGPT and it'll do it for you. I think, well, the, <coughs> that leads on to the whole question. If, if we're teaching our students something that an AI bot can do, are we teaching them the right thing? What mm. a profound question to yeah. end it on. Thanks very much Thank you indeed. Really interesting. Thank you. Both of you, very interestingly, the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, used this specific AI last week to write some of his speech on the economy and, mm. and said really? that he'd done it. And admitted it in order to show that we need to get on board yeah, with this yeah, tech yeah. And, it's, and it's good for the economy. But it really raises questions, doesn't it, for the Department of Education and the Qualifications Watchdog. Yeah.